Hallelujah to the Lord God. Jesus, we say thank you for another night of prayer. Jesus, we say thank you for what you're doing in our lives. We say thank you for what you started this week as we looked at the divine assurance from the throne of God, divine assurance from your presence. Jesus, we honor you. Jesus, we appreciate you. Jesus, we love you. We say thank you for what you're doing in our lives. We say thank you for the mighty things, for the mighty visitation. Jesus, we say thank you. Jesus, we say thank you. Blessed be your name, O God. Blessed be your name forever and ever. Father, we're grateful. Father, we're grateful. We're grateful for what you're doing we're grateful for the matthew chapter 14 prayer series how you're gradually transforming our lives and you're taking us to that place of encounter you're taking us to that place of visitation you're taking us to that place of power you're taking us to that place of result that is the that's the focus of this series result that we dare mighty things for God and we achieve great results. Father, we say thank you for what you're doing. We're grateful, O God. Be thou exalted, O God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the deliverances. We thank you for the elevation of the mind and the spirit. We thank you for the transformation in the lives of your people. Jesus, we say thank you. Jesus, we say thank you. Blessed be your name forever blessed be your name forever we thank you for the power in your word because when we pray using that word you are able to visit our lives and you are able to transform our lives jesus we say thank you blessed be your name O god 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 in the name of jesus christ blessed be your name blessed be your name for what you're doing father we come meet ourselves into your hand today that as we seek your face and continue in this prayer series our lives will be transformed our destiny will be transformed i pray you you will visit us mightily from heaven in the name of jesus we're looking at something very unique today i pray that beyond the words it will be translated into reality in our lives in the name of jesus christ beyond the words it will be translated will be able to carry this thing out in the name of jesus christ we pray that you will empower us so good you will strengthen our inner man you will strengthen our spirit being you will strengthen our physical body to be able to do your purposes oh god in the name of jesus christ we say thank you dear father blessed be your name forever blessed be your name forever for in jesus Jesus name we have prayed amen what a joy again to be in God's presence as we look at the Matthew chapter 14 prayer series gradually we bring in this series to a close and we thank God for everything the Lord has done in our lives and in your life across the world we thank God for the transformation is bringing and for that we're grateful we are grateful we started all the way from verse 22 and um, yesterday we looked at verse 27 the divine assurance and we go to the point in that prayer session that we began to seek the face of God that it will show us a, a token for good it will show us it will give us a result that is tangible a result that the adversary will see and know a result that the adversary cannot deny because that man that was healed at the gates beautiful by peter and john the the, the pharisees and the sanhedrin said a notable miracle is done and we cannot deny it i pray that will be your testimony that a notable miracle that cannot be denied will be done in your life in the name of jesus christ matthew chapter 14 verse 22 and straightway jesus constrained his disciples to get into a ship and to go before him onto the other side and while he sent the multitudes away and 
and went he and when he had sent the multitudes away he went up into a mountain apart to pray and when the even, evening was come, he was there alone. But the sheep was now in the midst of the sea, tossed with the wave, for the wind was contrary. And in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went, Jesus went unto them, walking on the sea. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is his spirit. And they cried out for fear verse 27 which is what we looked at yesterday but straightway jesus spake unto them saying be of good cheer it is high be not afraid be not afraid in verse 28 and peter answered him and said lord if it be thou bid me come unto thee on the water that's the focus of the prayer tonight peter answered following the divine assurance following the the comfort of the of the of the spirit of god peter made the daring move said lord if in reality it is you if this assurance that i have received that's why we call it a prayer series you cannot separate what we prayed for prayed about yesterday and what we're going to be looking at today because on the wings of that assurance came this question lord if it be thou bid me come unto thee on the water hallelujah that's the focus of our meeting tonight and I title it Daring Instincts. Daring Instinct. The instinct to dare. The instinct. Nobody, nobody suggested to Peter. Nobody suggested to him to make this call. To make this bold move. It came from the inside of him. The, the, the disciples did not hold a quick meeting and say based on what we have just seen Jesus walking on the water on the sea can we send the representative that will go and meet Jesus can we send the representative that will go and, and seek the face of, of God no of his own accord he decided to dare the lord was 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 really drawing upon my consciousness this verse that this is what separates believers in the kingdom this is what separates mighty men in the kingdom every one of them in that boat had the assurance from heaven every one of them in that ship had the assurance they all saw jesus they all had the assurance where he said be of good cheer it is i be not afraid and only one man distinguished himself to make a bold assertion to make a bold move and say lord if it be thou bid me come unto thee on the water what a powerful revelation so you went to the service and the lord's power and presence was in the meeting prophetic words were released and the lord says i'm transforming lives and blessing souls your finances is changing your health is changing your spiritual life is changing you're going to begin to do miracles you will heal the sick you will raise the dead you will cleanse the leper you will do this and that mighty move mighty promises everybody in the service heard <laughs> but very few people distinguish themselves to, to to dare 
the instinct i began to see that this thing called instinct is a very powerful thing and it can tell how far you can go it can tell the kinds of record you will set in your generation there are great generals of god who took the bold decision to 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 speak to a dead body and he said i have heard and i have read that my jesus has said unto me that when i pray for the dead they will come back to life so rather than tremble and run away and shift the responsibility to the medical professionals i will stand and face that dead body i will not care the outcome if i perish i perish and they spoke to the cops and they came back to life the bible says women receive their dead back to life and just like the case that i mentioned it was not according to the ritual the law that if you are not invited into the presence of the king you will come but the survival of the jews was hinged on breaking this protocol the survival of your generation the survival of your family name is inched on how far you can dare what greatness you can dare so esther said unto mordecai though you are not the one that gave me this suggestion all you just said is that i should fast and pray but i i know there is a rule in the palace but i'm going to dare it and if i die let it be that i died daring my god if i perish let it be that i perished attempting to walk on water if i die let it be that i died trying to fulfill my god-given destiny you have people who never dare anything they're always in their comfort zone they're always in the safe zone little risk minimal risk no troubles and they want to achieve greatness they are joking it's a big joke it cannot happen you will have to dare great things you will have to step out of that ship out of that ship and defy the laws of physics you will have to step out of that ship and and achieve greatness the lord is calling you to step out of that boat to walk on the water the lord is calling you to dare great things have you got the instinct within you i as the minister i'm not going to tell you what to do no it is the instinct nobody preached a message to peter and say if you see jesus after this manner step out and walk on the water no no it will be different for each person it will be different for each circumstance but when you got the instinct the bible says there is a spirit in man and the inspiration of the almighty gives him understanding when you have that instinct within you you can dare mighty things everybody had the assurance it is i be not afraid but one man singled out himself one man separated himself from the rest and said lord if it is you ask me to walk on the water and jesus said come can i say to you of all the people born of men uh, born of a woman as far as the scripture is concerned peter is the only one who has walked on water the children of israel the sea parted for them elijah and elisha jordan parted for them but peter and jesus they were the only ones that have walked on water and if not for that instinct 
the instinct within Peter to dare mighty things for God, he would have never been recorded to his account. As powerful as Paul the Apostle was, he never walked on water. Huh. My God, you, you didn't know that this, this was also necessary for the equation. Huh. So when the Lord says, go and apply for that role, he said, my goodness, I'm not qualified. He said, can you dare? Can you dare? Have you got the instinct within you? that will give it a try have you got the instinct within you that will give it a shot have you got the tenacity within you that will throw your heart in the ring and say though i've not done it before but i'm going to do it anyway that is what will separate us in this kingdom if you remain in that comfort zone if you remain in that place of safety you know what? This wind, the way the wind is even about to capsize the ship, and you're telling me to step on the water, the water that won't overthrow the ship. Now there is no, there is no protection for me. Do I know the kind of animals are in this water? Do I know the snakes, the whales? Haven't you read of how they swallowed up Jonah? The instinct to dare. This is what we are focusing on tonight. That the Lord must give you that instinct. See, it is beyond what the preacher can preach. Because this is something that will happen in split seconds. You are faced with the scenario. You are faced with that opportunity. Life does not give you time. I, I would usually tell my wife, I said... I try as much as possible to pray ahead of time because there are certain decisions in life you have to take right there on the spot. You have no time to say, can you give me three days for let me pray and fast. No, there is no time. It's either you get it right or you get it wrong immediately. It's either you make it or you go down. So what will give you the leverage is how much spiritual impute you are banked up to that point. That when you get to that crossroad where you need to make the decision, the decision that will, that will transform your life in the moment you can make the right decision and strike gold immediately. Hallelujah. Someone's life is changing. So you're just passing by. Then comes a business opportunity. It says, can you do this? Can you do this? There is no time to say, let me pray and fast. Give your answer on the spot. Is it yes? Is it no? Alas, people who have let go is gone. By the time they found out, they ran back. He says, is this still available? He says, sorry, it's gone. Another person grabbed the opportunity and he was gone. This is not to mean that we should be impulsive. And not prayerful. No. No. But at that spot, if nobody made the offer to Jesus, Jesus will come into them and we will never know that there is a possibility that a human being, flesh and blood, can walk on water. <laughs> so if you do not grab the opportunity, it's not like you're going to hell. You're not going to hell. It's not like your life is ruined. Your life will not be ruined. But that greater level of result that you should have experienced will remain a mirage. That, that realm of glory, one of the key prayers I prayed for my life growing up in the faith, 
I told God, I said, God, don't hide from me. Show me what I should be, even though I'm not yet there. Don't let me give myself a pass mark when in the sight of heaven I am not passing. Show me, show me, are there greater realms of manifestation that I should experience? Are there greater realms of power? Greater realms of, because sometimes we miss opportunities. The Bible says, be, be careful to entertain strangers. Because some people have entertained angels unaware. So in your process of being hospitable, you did not know that he was an angel. You thought everybody was a beggar, but this particular beggar was different. He was an angel sent to transform your life. And if only you are parted with that coin in your hand, he would have placed a blessing and a glory upon your life that will that will will make your history fade into irrelevance you will step into a new realm i am showing you the mystery of greatness this is the mystery there is an instinct that must kick in empowered by the holy spirit empowered by the holy spirit There are certain works. The Lord will ask you to do something. You encounter somebody. You thought it was a regular person. But this person was holding a key that you have been looking for for a long time. Experience one. I think um, last year, January, In the city where I was living, I think that was Oxford, right? In Oxford, suddenly my wife was going out and we don't usually encounter this. Then comes this lady who walked up to her from an Asian um, region. And said, my rent is due today. Please, can you help me? And there and then, a spark came into our soul that this person is different from the regular beggar. This person is different from those who just wants to take your money. And she sent me a message. Say, I found this person. I don't know the person, but the person needs this amount. What do we do? Do we give 50%? Do we give 100%? It was quite... A, 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 a fair amount of money and there and then I looked at it I said give hundred percent she didn't have the money she went to the ATM to withdraw the money and gave to the per, to the woman and the spirit of God said to her you will not see this woman again so when she gave her the money, while she was coming back home, she went to the place where she saw the woman initially. And the woman was gone. <laughs> My goodness. We were believing God for our second baby. Can I tell you, that month didn't pass by. She conceived. That month, January, didn't pass by. It happened. 
And the Lord said to me, <laughs> He said, this is what I'm talking about. Some people have entertained strangers and um, angels unawares. There is an instinct that will set off within you, my beloved people. You will do something that will forever transform your life. There is an instinct. I've had several encounters like this. There is an instinct that you will just distinguish yourself from the rest of those in the ship. And then you will say to the Lord, if it is you, if truly this assurance, we looked at divine assurance yesterday, if truly you are the one that is speaking to me, then ask me to come and walk on the water. Can I, can I, can I celebrate Jesus tonight? He said unto him, Come. God will not leave you halfway. When he sets up the spark within your soul, he will back you up to the very end. This is our prayer. Lord, I need that instinct from heaven. This is, I cannot tell you how you will act because the scenario you will face will be different from the one I will face. And the only thing I can do for you is, is to, to pray that this thing is done in your soul. That right there where you need to make that split moment decision, right there where you need to take that bold step to walk on the water, that the Spirit of God will inspire you. The Spirit of God will, will tell you just what to do. The Spirit of God will take you to that realm of power. The Spirit of God will instruct you right there and you will take the right decision and you will achieve greatness in your life. In the name of Jesus, this is the focus of the series. For you to dare great things, for you to dare mighty things for God. Lord, I need that divine instinct. I need the instinct that is that is triggered from heaven. I need the instinct that can that can that can push me to do mighty things for you. I need to step out of my comfort zone. If you need to start that business, you have been dragging your feet for so long. How are you going to achieve greatness? How are you going to cash in on the opportunities in the market when you cannot step out and achieve greatness? When you cannot step out and do great things for God? Lord, let this instinct set off within me. Hmm. Set off this instinct within me. Set off this instinct within me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Set off this instinct within me. The instinct to dare great things. The instinct to dare great things. Nobody is going to teach me what to do when the instinct is within me. Nobody is going to tell you what to do when you've got the right instinct to do the right things. You've got the instinct within your soul you know just what to do you know just how to do it and you can do it and your life will be forever changed lord god i need you to do this work in me i need you to do this work in me i need the instinct of your almighty the instinct to step out the instinct to achieve the instinct to make bold moves the instinct to make bold moves the instinct to make bold Bold moves, bold moves for God, bold moves in your destiny. In Jesus' name we pray. Hmm. Haven't you had the cases of people? He said they were the first to graduate in their family. They were the first to achieve this greatness. And maybe your life is just one of them. But can I say to you, if they did not have the instinct to begin their journey there is no breaking of record you want to be among those who break record who upset the status quo it begins with what we're looking at tonight 
the instincts for success the instinct that will make you to dare things daring instinct that's the title of the meeting the instinct that will make you to say you know what despite my age i'm going to enroll in the university <laughs> despite my age i'm going to start that business afresh despite what i have been through the devil is not going to defeat me the devil is not going to keep me bound in the ship i am going to dare it and nothing evil will happen you want to break records you want those visions of yours you want them to become a reality they will be bound to the realm of the dream if you cannot dare things in the physical so we see churches are telling them our faith our faith our faith there is a disconnect between the spiritual that is delivered unto us in the church and the physical manifestation that we are experiencing out of the church the missing link is this daring so when the prophecy comes you will be a millionaire you sit down in your room you're waiting for millions to come and meet you it's not going to work that is why many believers remain poor what the unbeliever will dare i said to my friend he used to work in a place where they have people who have imported goods from overseas and i was i was thinking within me you you know this business very well what does it take to import these goods from overseas and sell can't you do it can't you do it don't tell me that all of these people that are importing these goods that they are all rich they, they may not all be rich all it requires is for you to know this person know that person so another person can give you a loan you can find a business that can move you can find this and that and you do it and after a period of time you break even and then you're able to make profit if you cannot dare mighty things expect nothing this prayer meeting began on the wings of daring how with a message go to the ends of the world when we sit in our closet and do nothing the instinct to dare that is the meeting of tonight that is the prayer and you must pray for your soul if you need to have mighty result you must have the instinct to dare can you open your mouth and say to god lord i need this thing in my life i have received prophecies that have never materialized i didn't know that this was what i needed to do but now your word is come to me give unto me this instinct opportunities will keep coming and passing by you opportunities will keep coming and slipping by if you haven't got the instinct to dare the instinct to dare greatness the instinct to, to latch on an opportunity the instinct to latch on greatness and say i'm going to ride on this one nothing is going to stop me nothing is going to stop me nothing is going to stop me the instinct to dare lord release it unto me lord release it unto me activate it within my soul activate it within my spirit activate it within my soul in the name of jesus christ activate it within me i need to dare greatness i need to break the status quo i need to break the status quo i need to step into a realm nobody in my family has stepped into i need to step into a realm nobody in my locality has stepped into i need to step into a realm that nobody in my generation has stepped into but it begins with the instinct to dare mighty things the instinct to dare greatness in the name of jesus christ lord release this upon my life activate it within my soul in the name of jesus christ in jesus Jesus knew we pray the Lord laid upon my spirit two peculiar prayer points number one is the eye that recognizes opportunity 
So, some people haven't got that eyes, unfortunately. Everything that they recognize is the one that will fail, unfortunately. There is an eye that can recognize opportunity. That's the discerning of spirits. Go and listen to that meeting, the gifts of the spirit. The discerning of spirit, the discernment that can recognize opportunity. So I've had people come to me and say, can we do this business? I say, no, I'm not doing it. Why? I can see it's going to fail, unfortunately. So you need to have that eyes. I am telling you the mystery that will connect the prophetic release to the physical manifestation. If you don't dare nothing, expect nothing. The prophecy will remain in the realm of prophecy. And nothing will happen in the physical. And the second prayer is to rebuke the fear of failure. See, the fear of failure is what has hindered many people. And I understand they have invested in certain things in the past and they lost their money. They have invested in businesses. They have invested in relationships and it didn't turn out well. So there is a, 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 a post-traumatic episode. They've got the stress and the trauma from the failure of the past. Therefore, they remain in the ship. And say, you know what? I prefer to play it safe. I understand your plight. But forget about greatness at this level if you choose to play it safe. Forget about setting a new record. Forget about upsetting the previous balance. No, forget about it. If you prefer to play it safe, we can, we can praise Peter today that he was able to walk on the water, not by him playing it safe. I hope you know the amount of risk that he took this man. Can you picture it within you? If I told you to go to the beach in your country, and you should take a few steps on that water. You will say, man of God, is everything all right with you? I want you to realize that these things we are reading, they are not fairy tales. They are reality. It happened. And it can happen again. Yours might be peculiar. Yours might be different. But the principle is the same. So can we begin with a prayer against the fear of failure? You know, growing up, we learned of these great scientists that achieved so great things in the field of science. And they will detail how many times they failed. So many motivational speakers. So many quotes. But I tell you it is real. The fear of failure. The trauma of past failure. Has hindered many people from daring greatness. They have ruled out any possibility of that in their lives. Unfortunately it is so. They have said, you know what? I am just going to live my life as an ordinary man. Don't you preach to me about stepping out of the ship because I'm not going to do it. I can understand your plight. And that is why we are praying tonight. Lord, take away the fear of failure. 
take away the fear of sinking. So people say to you, how can you start ministry? Are you not afraid? Are you not afraid that this might happen? That that might happen? I see the fear of failure is gone. The fear of sinking in the water is gone. For even if I sink, if it was as a result of the call of the Lord Jesus, he will be there to lift me up again. Kapato Shadia. So let God uproot from within you the fear of failure. Lord, I am not afraid. Lord, I am not afraid. I am not afraid to stand. I am not afraid to take that bold step. I am not afraid to take that mighty decision. When I see the opportunity, I am not afraid to latch on it. I am not afraid to step out and do it. I am not afraid, oh God. I am not afraid, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I am not afraid to achieve greatness. I am not afraid to step out and do great things. I am not afraid to start that curse, that curse. I am not afraid. I am not afraid. I am not afraid anymore. Let fear be taken out of my out of my life, out of my way. Let fear be destroyed. I am no longer a slave to fear. I am no longer a slave to fear. I step into the realm of the unknown. I go the distance with God in the name of Jesus. I root out every fear from your life. I root out the spirit of fear from your life. I root out the spirit of fear from your life in the name of Jesus Christ. The second prayer point. The discerning eye to recognize good opportunity. So people are not afraid. But they keep failing. Because everyone that they strike was fake. The devil has robbed them of a lot of money, a lot of relationship, love and everything. Because everybody who came to date them were all fraud. So they've had multiple breakups. And then they do not believe that there is any good person again. But before you get into that commitment, before you make that commitment, sometimes it gives you the opportunity to pray. Sometimes you have to take the decision on the spot. But either way, you need the, the, the discerning of spirit, the discernment from heaven, the discernment from heaven. How did Abraham know that this man that we're visiting him in the book of Genesis chapter 18, how did he know that they were not ordinary men? Let's look at it. Genesis chapter 18. You will understand what I'm talking to you about. That there are certain opportunities that will come. You will not have time to go and pray. This thing I tell you is a scary reality. There are certain things that will confront your life. You will not have time to go and pray. You will not have time to meet your father in the Lord and say, This is the challenge I'm facing. What do I do? You need to act there and then. Genesis chapter 18, verse 1. And the Lord appeared unto him, that's Abraham, in the place of memory. And he sat in the tent door in the heat of the day. He says, The Lord appeared. Did the Lord come with a, with, with a poster and says, I am the Lord? No. He sat in the tent of his of his house in the in the door in verse 2. He says, and he lifted up his eyes and looked, and lo, three men stood by him. And when he saw them, he ran to meet them from the tent and bowed himself towards the ground. The question is, 
who told him this rain were from heaven? He didn't say three angels, three men. Is this how Abraham used to welcome visitors in the past? That any visitor that came to him, he would run and bow himself. Remember, this man was a wealthy man. In verse 3, and he said, My Lord. Is that how Abraham used to do? So there is a discernment that Abraham had immediately. And he said, No, these ones are not ordinary men. He went to them, he bowed himself, and he gave them food. He took care of them. Come and see the outcome of that meeting look at verse 14 the outcome of that encounter is anything too hard for the lord at the time appointed i will return unto thee according to the time of life and sarah shall have a son look at the miracle that came from that encounter what if abraham had said to them and say who are you looking for I don't know you, sorry, I, can't, I, I don't entertain strangers. This miracle would have passed. You wonder why certain people, their miracles are delayed. There was a year I was praying and the Lord was revealing to me the lives of certain people. And he said, this year will not pass by. They will conceive and bear children. Ha! Ha! I had that vision at the start of the year and I began to pray on their behalf. I was praying and praying and praying on their behalf. I waited and I hoped. But can I tell you, that year went, they didn't have children. For one of them, it took another two years before she eventually conceived for the other one is still believing God are there people are there opportunities that have slipped by your side that have made the prophetic word to be prolonged so there is need for discernment that you can recognize the opportunity and say, this is where my prophetic word lies. God was telling you, he said, I'm sending a helper to you. The helper that will lift your head. You were waiting to see a man in king's robe. Then came this person, an old friend of yours. And you say, you're disturbing me. I don't want you. I don't want your call. You block the person. Could it be that that person you blocked was the one holding the key? Holding the key for your next level. Holding the key. Can you pray to God tonight? I speak to you mysteries. These are the things that have distinguished us in this realm. That some people have achieved greatness. They were able to see certain opportunities and their lives were changed. Lord, give me the discernment. Ha, ah, my God. Give me the spirit of discernment. The eye that recognizes profitable deals. The eye that recognizes profitable opportunities. The eye that recognizes and knows when to stay in there. The eye that recognizes, that understands just what to do. To be able to achieve greatness. To be able to fulfill the prophecy. To be able to get to the other side. To be able to break the record in my family to be able to step in and fulfill greatness lord give me that discernment oh god give me that discernment oh god in the name of jesus christ in jesus name we pray hmm. the spirit of the lord keeps bringing the points we have to rush he said for some of you the problem is not with recognizing the opportunity the problem is is with staying power 
so you have the good opportunity but something comes that makes you troubled and you give it up he says so I'm, I'm resigning from this job i don't like it anymore and if you had just waited a little more someone above you was going to resign and you will be the next in line for that managerial post alas you couldn't stay you went to jump hunting only for you to hear later on he said did you know the boss was sacked and this person is now the new boss you say my goodness if i had remained there it would have just been me i was the most qualified person for that position i speak to you mysteries tonight these things have affected many lives it has elongated their journey the prophetic word of god over their lives had not come into pass can you pray to god i receive staying power hmm. the power to hang in there until it succeeds the power to remain there to hang in there until my breakthrough comes so you have picked the right opportunity you have picked the right adventure you have picked the right place to settle down you've got the right job but you just need to be patient whatever the devil does don't leave your position whatever the devil does don't give up your inheritance just remain there you're going to find gold just remain there you're going to achieve greatness but if you haven't got that state power the devil wants to throw you out completely Lord, I receive it. Lord, I receive it. I receive the power. I receive the power. I receive the power. The power to stay. The power to remain. The power to remain until it is achieved. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord also said we should pray for recovery of lost opportunities. He said to me, there are some of you, as I'm speaking, as you're hearing me talk, you, the Lord is taking you back to certain opportunities that you have missed. He said, my goodness. So this person was the one I should have married. Alas, I threw the person away. Is there any hope for me, oh God? I've lost opportunities, but is there still hope for my life? My goodness. This is a powerful prayer. I have lost opportunities. You, you say, man of God, from what you're saying, I, I see my life is re, re, full of missed opportunities. Missed opportunities. But is there still hope? That is why the Lord wants us to pray. Lord, restore my lost opportunities. I am getting more mature now. I am seeing that there are things I should have done that I did not do that made those opportunities to slip by. But Lord, I'm crying to you tonight. Restore unto me the opportunities that I've lost. Restore unto me the privileges that have gone. By the mystery of mercy, the ministry of mercy, and the ministry of restoration, let lost opportunities come back again. Let lost privileges come back again. I will not miss them again. Hmm. I will not miss them again. I now have the spirit of discernment. I now have the power to remain there. The fear of failure is taken away. I will not miss these opportunities again. Lord, restore unto me. Lord, restore unto me these lost opportunities. Restore unto me these lost privileges. Let them come again in the name of Jesus Christ. Restore unto me the lost privileges privileges in the name of Jesus restore unto me the lost privileges in the name of Jesus Christ hmm. 
In Jesus name we pray. This is a powerful prayer and it is it is in the Bible. If you look at the book of Judges. Hmm, the the mother of Samson received an angelic encounter. In Judges chapter 13 verse 3 he says and the angel of the lord appeared unto the woman and said unto her behold now thou art barren and bearest not but thou shalt conceive and bear a son now therefore beware i pray thee and drink not wine nor strong drink and eat not any unclean thing for thou shalt conceive and bear a son and no razor shall come on his head, for the child shall be shall be a Nazarite unto God from his womb, and he shall begin to deliver Israel out of the hand of the Philistine. Look at verse 6. Then the woman came and told her husband, saying, A man of God came unto me. I had an encounter, an opportunity came. A man of God came unto me. And his countenance, his appearance, was like the appearance of an angel of God. Very terrible. He says, but I asked him not whence he was, neither did he tell me his name. And this is what he told me. And the husband understood that opportunities can come again when you pray. Look at verse 8. Then Manoah, that's the father of Samson now, entreated the Lord and said, O oh my Lord, let the man of God, which thou descend, come again unto us. Kapalato, this is, a, this is your prophetic word tonight. That the opportunities that went away without you utilizing them, the prayer of this man he says let it come again unto me is someone crying this over your life can you decree this lord i know i've lost opportunities i know i've lost avenue to to achieve greatness he says but let it come again unto me he says let the man of god that thou descend let it come again unto us and teach us what we shall do unto the child that shall be born let him come again let the mystery come again let the opportunity come again let the job offer come again let the financial progress come again let that investment opportunity come again let the avenue to conceive come again let another suit or come i lost the the last one i missed the last one but let the opportunity come again let the man of god come again let the divine vision it or come again let the angel of god visit me again can i pray this as we wrap up tonight every lost opportunity in your life my god every lost privilege every lost blessing i decree by reason of this angel appearing again unto manoah and his wife i command let them come again to you in the name of jesus receive the opportunity again receive the opportunity opportunity again receive the opportunity again in the name of jesus christ receive the privilege again in the name of jesus i trigger within your soul i activate within your spirit the instinct to dare greatness the instinct to dare mighty things the instinct to step out of the ship and walk on the water the instinct to step out of the boat and walk on the water i rebuke I rebuke the spirit of fear. I rebuke the spirit of failure in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive discernment. Step out and walk on that water. He says, Lord, if it be thou, 
if truly you are the one that is sending me, if truly you are the one that I am seeing, walking on this water right in front of me, if truly these visions I'm having are from you, then bid me come on the water. The Lord will begin to give you prophetic encounters. Can I tell you this is a spiritual meeting? We're not joking here. You will begin to have visions and revelations of your future. You will begin to have prophetic dealings. And in the dream, the Lord will be showing you just what to do. When you see it, rise up and do it. Walk on that water. Hallelujah to the Lord God. The Lord bless you. The Lord cause you to prosper. In the name of Jesus Christ. We will be continuing tomorrow. And I trust God that you have been blessed. Be sure to listen as we upload on YouTube. Put comment in the comment section so it can get suggested to more people. And like the video and share with your family members and friends. The Lord bless you and the Lord prosper you mightily in the name of Jesus Christ. Have a good night rest. I'll see you tomorrow. Amen.